Hi everyone, I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much for joining me. This is uh, the majority of the earthquakes that I have plotted for New Jersey. The earthquakes are still con continuing. There was a magnitude 1.7 earthquake this morning. At 5 a.m. local time, it had a depth of 3.3 miles or 5.3 kilometers. And surprisingly, 17 people said they did feel this earthquake. USGS gave it an intensity level of 3. Now, if it was really a magnitude 1.7, people should not have felt it noticeably indoors. But they did. Um, a lot of people probably wouldn't recognize it as an earthquake. But standing automobiles would have been rocking slightly. And there was a vibration evidently reported like a passing truck. And they said it felt like a 2.5. Um, not a 1.7. Here's a map of the felt reports and it was felt all the way to Highland Mills it says here. Intensity level 3. What did the people feel in between over here? So we also got Long Valley intensity level 2. Uh, Bedminster intensity level 3. Lebanon intensity level 2 and Long Valley intensity level 2. So it seems like maybe an arch here. But I think I have figured out why they've been having so many earthquakes. I also want to talk about this magnitude 2.1 that USGS did report on the 31st. 189 people said they felt that earthquake. Again, being such a low magnitude earthquake, people should not have been able to feel it. That one was given an intensity level of 4. And it looks like the farthest report came from close to, no name posted there, so um, Kingston. We got Kingston. Okay, and then towards the east, no name on that one. Um, Meridian, I want to say. Let's see, and I'll bring it back out. Go back down over here. Okay, intensity level 3, 3. But USGS gave it an intensity level of 4. So there's got to be something on here with a 4, I would think. Unless it was revised. Yeah, I don't see anything. But intensity level 4 would mean that it felt like maybe a 3 to a 3.5 to those that did report. Felt indoors by many, outdoors by a few. At night, if they were or taking a nap sleeping, they would have been woken up. Dishes, windows, doors were rattling. Automobiles rocked noticeably. So I thought, why are they still having all these earthquakes? Originally, mainstream media jumped on uh, the news and said it was the Rampapo fault. Well, it's not. And new research into the area has not found any fault in this location. But let me show you something. Here we have a magnetic anomaly map of New Jersey. And right here in red, well, guess what? That's where all the earthquakes are happening. Yeah, you often see this along... Um, spreading cent centers in the ocean where uh, the continents are moving but this is an interplate earthquakes um, so they shouldn't be having these earthquakes except for the magnetic anomaly what this means is this location sometime in the future is capable of having a very large earthquakes doing the research about different locations that have these anomalies well, one of the locations where they have a lot of great earthquakes, Chile. Yeah, so um, made me think about the coming magnetic pole reversal, which we all know is going to happen. And this is one of the locations where we're already seeing earthquakes. And I think the largest being a magnitude 4.8. But if and whenever the Earth magnetic field decides to reverse, we're going to see large earthquakes around the world, volcanic eruptions. We're already seeing how it's disrupting our weather patterns, our jet streams. Yeah, I said streams. There's 
two separate jet streams, one, you know, up towards the northern part of our globe and then another one down there in the southern part of the globe. The last time the Earth's magnetic field reversed, it just didn't do it overnight. It was a process of about 10,000 years where the Earth's magnetic north and south jumped around the world, kind of like dibbits on a golf ball until it finally settled down to where it is now. But during that time, yeah, there was great earthquakes and volcanic eruptions. I'll give you a link to that page where it shows the magnetic anomalies for you know, the East Coast. And then this paper talks about long-term magnetic anomalies and their possible relationships to the latest great or great greater Chilean earthquakes in the context of seismoelectromagnetic theory. Um, electromagnetic is uh, another word for anomaly. Now this paper talks about how there was a rise in the frequency and range of this event starting in um, or somewhere around two, 2010. The cumulative number of magnetic anomalies peaks before several earthquakes such as the Nepal 2015 earthquake, the Mexican 2017 earthquake, and then it goes on. They noticed that there was a rise in the power spectral density um, in the millihertz range one month before each earthquake. So I wonder if geologists or some other scientists actually has the money and the time or, the, or some backing funding from some university to keep an eye on uh, the fluctuation of the magnetic anomalies that's currently going on there in New Jersey. Over on the far right in the bottom of this image here, it talks about uh, gamma's units of magnetic field and it goes all the way down to the green. And where they're having the earthquake, it's between 1,000 to uh, 101,000 units. One of the original researchers I found did a study about this back in 1979. It was from um, Drew University, Madison, New Jersey. And he was studying the uh, um, poles, the direction that the magnetic field was pointing in different directions in different locations. Many of you that may have been following me for years will remember when I had the uh, car compass, the old-fashioned car compass, probably from the 60s. It was um, stationed in my house and I was tracking the uh, magnetic north and its fluctuations and I did that until my grandson who was little decided to take it apart one day. <laughs> so he was looking at dip pole anomalies. He thought, he thought it was really interesting um, in his survey. And he's even got drawn out here his own little map of the different locations of the anomalies. Speaking of volcanic eruptions, I talked about in the original earthquakes about different ancient eruptions that happened to form the mountains. We got the uh, Wachung Mountains and pointed out the different locations of those eruptions. Here you can see, I don't know if you can see, I got it drawn out in purple. Just something to think about. Yeah, so what are your thoughts? Put your comments down below. Uh, do you have another possibility? Like I said, they've done studies. There's no fault lines running through here. It's got nothing to do with the Rampapo fault or um, anything else, you know, such as the, um, let me see here. I got, yeah, drawn out in red, the Rampapo fault. But, uh, yeah, tell me what you think. Please put your comments down below. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.